this video is to show you all about how to create 3D flanges in either AutoCAD, BricsCAD, IntelliCAD. Today I'm working in a program called AbbeyCAD, which is an IntelliCAD-based product. You can find out more about AbbeyCAD at abbeycad.com. I'm going to be working from the MetQ ribbon, and I'm going to select Pipe and Fitting here. This will load up what's called the MetQ Pipe dialog. I'll go ahead and select the size that I need to be working in. I'll just be using a 10 inch in this example. And my type is butt weld and carbon steel for my material. Although you can choose different types here in the pull down. Same goes for material. Over here we have our draw type. Normally uh, you would choose a double line or 3D. In this example, I'm going to be choosing the 3D option. Then over here, I'll just choose View, Draw. And I'm going to put a point in model space. I'm going to turn on the ortho mode, which is down here. Or you can press your F8 key. And we'll just go ahead and type in two feet. And exit with the Enter key. Now the next step is choosing the flange here from this mini dialog. And we'll just simply do the same as we did before. Click on the flange. Then we can see the flange is active here. We choose draw. Now we get to our flange dialog. And here in the type pull down, we can select different types of flanges. And since we're working in a 10 inch size, it's going to remember that as well. I'm going to choose the welding neck for this one. We're going to go ahead and just choose this insert point. Now these insert points are clickable. So some of the fittings have a center line X and an end point X together. So just keep that in mind. We're going to click on this one. Now I do have my object snap set to center so it's going to snap to center of the pipe so we'll left click and then that puts the flange in for us now i want to show you something in the flange dialog so let's go back to the main menu and again we'll double click on the flange here In this pull down here, one of the selections is user defined. So if we're using a weld neck type flange, we'll select this. And then over at the right here, we can add a custom flange. And the custom flange needs to be that 10 inch size. So we'll just say new. And it's already configured the 10 inch here as a 250 uh, millimeter flange. So we'll just keep it as is. This is the name. And here we can pull down the welding neck option. And we can come down and we can change the outside diameter of the flange, the thickness, and so forth. There's lots of options here to, to change. In this example, I'm just going to change the number of holes. Let's say I want eight holes. And once we're done with the design, we just simply save it and choose OK. And now we've had this 250 flange all ready to go. And all we've got to do is click on these dialogs just as we did before. And we'll snap to the center here. And this case is going to ask us for the upstream direction. And then it places that flange in there with eight holes. If we want, we can shade our model just to see the result. Let's just go ahead and erase our custom flange here. So if we go back into our pipe fittings dialog, again, it's remembered that we're using a user defined flange. So let's go ahead and change this to welding neck. 
let's just go back to the main menu real quick. And let's just put a valve in. We'll choose, again, we're going to choose it by this point here. And like the flange utility, we also have these valves available. I'm going to just drag my cursor over this just to spin it around. And we'll pick it here again from the center snap. We'll point into the upstream direction. We'll press F8 to turn on the ortho. And then it wants the direction of the actuator. So we'll just put it up here. And then we'll go back into the dialog for the flange. Now in order to get back to the dialog, we need to go back to the main menu. Double click on this. Then we'll choose the option here, draw a double flange. And again, we need to spin this around, look at the other side, snap to the center, the upstream direction. And now it's placed uh, those two flanges together for us. So those are some options that you'll find inside the flange utility inside MechCube. Drawing flanges like this is going to be a lot faster than doing it by hand. Uh, so that's the big advantage to using a tool like MechCube. You don't have to go through learning a very complicated program in order to draw in 3D and it's all dialogue driven. So you can change from one spec to another quite easily without having to do much work. I hope this uh, video has been helpful. And feel free to email or call me. The number here is 888-271-7121. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And I hope you have a great day.